готов? Say that. English troops are starting to arrive. Oh, there's the French fleet. The, the fake French. The naughty French. Including the Bern, which is the... Oh, what's it called? Pride of the Fleet. Carrier. Oh, it's, no, it's all fake French. It's the entire fake French fleet versus my submarine. Come on, submarine. Run! He hasn't been seen yet. Run. Yeah, I don't think anyone's sticking around to fight. Lost a few ships there. Yeah, the fake French fleet is definitely trying to do some damage in the Mediterranean now. And if there was anywhere where they would operate, that's probably the place they want to be. I'm really disappointed by the lack of factories here. That's annoying. I really don't know how I'm supposed to fix my economy. I think if you're an exiled nation, it should be possible for other nations to give you factories. Like even just four would make a huge difference. Advanced computing machine. A year later and it finishes. Oh wow, we have a lot of decryption that we can do. Make it so. When is Germany going to war with the Soviets? That's a good question. No idea. <laughs> Short answer. Longer answer. No idea. Oh, my newbie is just arriving. Except I actually want the newbie assigned to them, I think. Well, actually, he mm, could do with some extra training. No, it's fine. We'll send you to this. Two thousand short. Sure. Right, seriously, I really need some gear, Britain. Oh, finally. Four thousand rifles a month. That'll do. Damn it. <laughs> I don't think any got through. You cancelled that straight away. Nineteen forty-three. It's going to take until that bloody factory is done, and even then, I'm probably going to lose its consumer goods. Well, what states do we have? Ethiopia, Somaliland. Ah, uh, shall I ask for Ethiopia? They'll give me one more. Ethiopia would give me one civilian factory. Khartoum would give me one. Oh no, Khartoum's part of Egypt, isn't it? Sudan's nothing. Kenya. One civilian. Does Ethiopia have any resources? I don't think so. Oh, it has a bit of rubber. We're actually counter-attacking rather successfully. Yeah, we were way up to here. What's going on? 
zaakcelowania! Ruszać się! Czerwacz! No, don't do that. Rozkazy? There's a second of lag there and it kind of screwed a few of my orders up. Oh. Well, if you want to give me some free land, then uh, who am I to say no? Except we're being pushed fairly heavily over on that side. If I can take this, then I can hold this whole section with just tr two troops. The Germans are doing a pretty hefty counterattack here. No! I can't afford to lose convoys. Also, cannot afford to lose Tripoli. That's why they removed all their troops from over here. They came over here to do this counter-attack! How did they make me run? I've lost stand-on. Um, that's a problem. I think I've just lost. Well, I would have to say that this entire Africa adventure has been a massive miscalculation. And I would not repeat it. Because now if I'm getting Lend-Lease from the Allies, it's going to have to come through the Mediterranean, which is like the most dangerous area in the world right now, with the exception of the Baltic. Why is there no information on enemy armies just with question marks? Because my encryption's not good enough. Sorry, my decryption's not good enough. Their encryption is higher rank than my decryption. Yeah, and that's it, we're dead. Actually, just pushing this. Uh, let's run this way. Fast enough. Oh, for Pete's sake. I knew Africa was a bad idea. The attrition here is just too heavy for someone that can't replenish ever. Oops, no, not save. Save bad. Load. Come on, give me control of the game back. Load. So I'm going to load my game where I'm not in Africa yet, because that was a terrible, terrible decision. I think it's that one. Or else I have to go back to 39. No, that's just before I run away. I was going to say, um, we, we did Dantica War a while ago, so this is, I think... When was this? This is when I'm over here. No, that's... that's Because oh. I don't even want to request that territory, because I'm pretty sure that counts against us. That means I have to go all the way back to 38. It's a full year behind. Basically, everything I've just done for the last two hours was wasted.
Because just getting here has wasted a bunch of my resources. Yeah, we're like a thousand gear down. So where would I go instead? Because taking Lebanon, I think, was probably the right decision. The problem is I can't build any more facilities. They're too slow with just one factory. And I can't get factories from allies. I, I think that's one major negative towards the exile government. It's a fantastic idea, but it kind of needs that. Or else a better way of getting equipment from your allies. Like the fact that I have this manpower just sitting here doing nothing at the moment. Britain's not recruiting enough of those. But, now that we know how exiled governments work from the exile's perspective, playing from one of the major powers' perspective, it would be easier to, like, empower them. Wasn't it the Poles that boosted the English decryption in World War II so they could decode the Enigma? Yep. That's why the Poles have a bunch of focuses based around just that. This stuff. <laughs> Think of it this way, now you're like the Time Lord of Governments in Exile, Exile Through Space and Time. Alright, well we still have a lot of guns, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go, no, this was a terrible decision. Whoever was the commander of this has just been fired. And we're not doing that. And hopefully we didn't lose too much stuff. Though clearly they were trying to hit my convoys. Alright, so what I think I'm going to need to do then is say English Channel Avoid. And we'll need to land in Liverpool or Lanark. And then think really quite carefully about where we want to go from here, because I'm really not sure. I don't want to fight in Africa. Africa is a no-go. It's too attrition heavy. Try Vichy France and East Africa. Right over here. Kind of the same problem, though. If it doesn't have... No, Vichy France is worse, because that land just goes to France. So what I can do is I could land in, say, Gibraltar, and then try and land in, well, not Ceuta, I could try to land in Casablanca, and then just hold on to this area and let free France build up. At least then I'm doing something. I'm helping, I'm contributing. The other one is we could try and hold on to Albania, but I can't really see that being at all possible. The other part of the problem is I don't want to be in the Mediterranean. I have no navy, I can't hold them. Uh, maybe we could do Vichy. Alright, let's go to Gibraltar. Uh, hello? Like, oh, I know why. Okay. Alright, let's do that. Field hospital complete. Now I just need to remember what on earth I was researching at this point. 
1940. Still can't get the 41 tax. We can, however, get these. Let's get decryption going. Save the game. I don't need to. This is literally a load from two minutes before. Nothing has changed. This wasn't an autosave, this was a save. Pacific is out of the question due to the distance. Pacific's, well, yes. And also, I would not be able to compete with the Japanese fleet at all. I have nothing for that. I don't want to fight in China because China is also an attrition problem. Anywhere with major attrition I cannot go to because I cannot replace losses. Assassination of Trotsky. That didn't happen last time. Oh, my God. Uh, oh have I... 30 days until I've got naval invasion. It looks like they're actually sending troops into Casablanca. As we speak... One thing of note, though, is that the veteran units, this guy and this guy, do replenish. So these two are based off of British arms. Everything else is my own. So if I'm going to be very aggressive with somebody, it should be these two. And I should be getting a third from the Brits fairly soon. At least I did last time. Scandinavia. Denmark's already fallen. Norway actually seems to be pretty well entrenched right now. I'm going to go for um, Casablanca. See if we can uh, help the Free French out. As long as I hold on to Casablanca and can do Normandy the fourth. I can improve worker conditions again. No, because I still haven't mobilized. Let's mobilize first. Here we go. Another unit. Thank you. These guys are sell them into Gibraltar as well. Oh no, they've got a convoy. That's not good. I thought nipping into Gibraltar I'd be safe. Where are the rest of my armies? So I'm sure that there should be more than just one dude over here. Oh, 14 here already. Crikey. Fair enough. Army modernization complete, I guess. No, we're doing standardization of equipment. And there we go, transport ships. All right, so. Well, you need to do a naval invasion from Gibraltar onto Casablanca. We can send 10 divisions. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten. Let's get encryption. Let's see what we can do here. I 
How are they doing without me over here? Actually, it kind of looks like they're being pushed back a bit. So disappointing with how little stuff there was over there. Kind of gutted about that. Joshua, thank you very much for the bits. Bits, 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 bits. bits. Are we in exile? We are indeed in exile, yes. Poland has fallen. We're currently trying to work out where we can contribute to the most with the least amount of cost to ourselves. Because replacing losses is challenging. There's decryption. Wow, that was quick. Well, our electronic warfare abilities are pretty darned impressive. Actually, think about that for a second. Because we have infantry equipment bonuses, don't we? We do. That would only take me 230 days to get upgraded guns. I just realized how I can get factories. I think, can I offer licenses to the Brits? Because if I get tier 3 guns and then license them to the Brits, they'll probably want them because they're advanced. Because they're a 1942 technology and I'm going to get them halfway through 1941. Is it possible to offer licenses or only request? And unfortunately, requesting licenses costs civilian factories, which is why I was thinking, ah, oh, that's a good way of getting some. No, it's not. The other way would be to take over resource-heavy areas, like Malaysia. Halfway. Right, now we can modify the government. Let's get war economy. I forget. Fortunately, we're sitting here taking a ton of attrition while we wait for this attack to go ahead. Alright, it's not a ton. This is a lot less attrition than we were suffering in the Middle East. It's still attrition, though, and it still sucks. But I do want to have troops nearby so that we can reinforce Casablanca with everything. We can just hold it. I mean, part of the problem that we had in Libya is half of our forces had to hold on to Lebanon. The useless Lebanon. With our one factory. Off-map factories really would be the perfect answer to exile governments, and then just remove them if they become unexiled. Italy lays claim to Greek territory. Citing the Roman Empire as a forerunner to the modern Italian state, Italy has claimed that the independent Greek state has no right to exist. Italy declared war on the Greeks. Question, does deleting one of your divisions add the manpower pool to the UK? to draw new divisions from what happens to the equipment they held when you delete them. I'm pretty sure that they go to my own pool. Like, I still have an equipment pool. That's a lot of British troops here. No wonder we're suffering attrition. I wonder if they'll come flooding into Casablanca when I launch this naval invasion. They might do, you know. In which case we can open up quite a serious another front in Africa. And if Britain starts to really throw their weight into this, then I can probably back off and go somewhere else. Oh, no, Norway's been invaded by the Italians. Looks like Norway's going to be okay, though. Leaving far too many men in Oslo. Ooh, why are you sailing? 
here especially. Where are you going? No, this is a terrible idea. What are you doing? Sailing through the Baltic. Bornholm? Really? Garrisoning Bornholm with... Okay, fine. I'm not going to question it. Bornholm. Really? Standardization of equipment has been completed, so let's modernize the cavalry. I'm sure there used to be a countdown for how long until you could launch the attack. Oh, we need to have a fleet in the African coast. Our submarines! Oh, you're fighting somebody right now. And you got some experience. How nice. Cancel your operations over there. And instead come convoy raiding and the African coast. Oh, we sank a uh, convoy. Good show. Alright, so we've got encryption. We've got decryption. We still have some more weapon abilities. Oh, yes! This will allow my infantry to go against our t uh, tanks. Let's have some tank killing ability, please. Are we drinking vodka? We are currently drinking tea. Alright, we're off the coast. Intel efficiency 100%. Go! Although I must admit this tea's gone a bit lukewarm. Never mind. Tea is still tea. Nope, oh, we've got some troops landing, but they're going to be on zero organization. So we need to land here, push out, and then land more troops in Casablanca straight away afterwards. 98%. 99%. Yeah, really good defensiveness. Landed. Alright, oh so we're going to select you. We're going to say new front line. And I want you to establish a front line in these mountains. We will hold those mountains. This is what I am good at. Holding ground. Go. Oh, by the way, be aggressive. Especially that cavalry dude. Chase him down, kill him. 